Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane to the year 1977? If you're a fan of classic television, you've likely heard of the iconic series Soap. This groundbreaking show not only pushed the boundaries of sitcoms, but also left a lasting impact on the industry. As we delve into the world of soap, we invite you to reflect on two key questions. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? But before we dive into the details, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Soap was a daring satire that dared to tread where others hadn't, serving as a precursor to many of today's boundary-pushing sitcoms. The show was known for its witty humor, complex characters, and a willingness to tackle controversial topics head-on. Now, it's your turn. We'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your experiences add depth to the rich tapestry of television history, so don't hold back. Let's start with fact number one about Jay Johnson's involvement in the TV series Soap from 1977. In 1977, the TV series Soap introduced audiences to a unique blend of comedy and drama. One interesting fact about the show is that Jay Johnson, a ventriloquist, was cast in a leading role as Chuck Campbell. He hadn't initially planned to be an actor. Jay had recently signed a contract to become the spokesman for a yogurt company when he stumbled upon an ad in Variety seeking a ventriloquist for a sitcom. Johnson auditioned on a whim and was shocked to land the role, so his spokesman gig was temporarily postponed. Halfway through the first season of the show, the yogurt company backed out of the deal and paid off his contract. This unexpected turn of events led to Johnson's successful acting career on Soap. It's a fascinating example of how sometimes the best opportunities come when you least expect them. In the 1977 TV series Soap, one of the notable aspects is the character Benson's last name, which was never mentioned during the show. It was only revealed to be Du Bois after Benson was spun off into his own series. This unique characteristic added an air of mystery to the character. Additionally, Soap was one of the first American television series to feature an openly gay character as a regular cast member. This was a significant step in the representation of LGBTQ plus characters on television, considering the time the show was aired. Another interesting fact is that Gordon Jump appeared as Chief of Police Tinkler on Soap in the season just before landing his best-known role as Arthur Big Guy Carlson on WKRP in Cincinnati. It's worth noting that Jump appeared alongside his future WKRP co-star Howard Hesseman in several late first-season episodes of Soap. These unique elements contributed to the distinctiveness of the show and its place in television history. In 1977, the TV series Soap made waves with its controversial content. It faced early boycotts from big-ticket advertisers due to its controversial nature. Slim Fast was one of the few items advertised on the premiere. The character Father Timothy Flotsky was a nod to Lenny Bruce's classic routine, Father Flotsky's Triumph. Interestingly, Rue McClanahan, known for her roles in Maude and Golden Girls, was considered for the role of Mary Campbell on the show. Soap was a unique and boundary-pushing series for its time. Robert Guillaume made television history in 1977 as the first black performer to win an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. He accomplished this feat for his role in the TV series Soap. Notably, he won the same award again for his character in the spin-off series Benson. This dual Emmy achievement is a rare distinction, with only Jackie Gleason and Ed Asner sharing the same honor. Gleason won Emmys for playing Ralph Cramden in both The Jackie Gleason Show and The Honeymooners, while Asner secured his wins for the character of Lou Grant in The Mary Tyler Moore Show and its spin-off, Lou Grant. This recognition marked a significant milestone for Robert Guillaume and brought deserved attention to his talent in the world of television. Soap, the 1977 TV series, started with an interesting tidbit. Early in production, they faced sound recording issues for Bob, 
Chuck's ventriloquist dummy. The problem was that Jay Johnson's performance was so convincing that the sound man pointed the microphone at the dummy when it had lines. The show was initially intended to last for just five seasons. Even if ABC had renewed it after the fourth season, they would have had only one more year to resolve all the cliffhangers. Surprisingly, Soap was just a working title for the show during pre-production. The producers couldn't come up with a better name, so Soap became the formal title when the show went into production. That's a glimpse into the quirks and challenges behind the creation of the classic TV series Soap from 1977. In the 1977 TV series Soap, an unexpected twist occurred involving the character Chuck Campbell and his ventriloquist dummy, Bob. Originally planned as short-term guest stars responsible for another character's death, the overwhelming response from the audience led to a change in the storyline. Instead of ending with Bob testifying against Chuck in court, the identity of the murderer was revised, allowing Chuck and Bob to remain with the series for its entire run. This change reflected the show's adaptability to audience feedback and its willingness to evolve to meet viewer expectations. Soap remains a memorable series from the late 1970s, known for its unique approach to storytelling. When feuds steal the spotlight, how media coverage amplified the conflicts among Soap's cast members, the 1977 TV series Soap brought laughter to countless homes. But behind the scenes, tensions among the cast members often stole the spotlight. Media coverage played a significant role in amplifying these conflicts, making them a central focus in the public eye. The cast of Soap included talented actors, but their personal feuds and conflicts off-screen sometimes overshadowed the show's success. Media outlets were quick to pounce on any discord among the cast, turning it into sensational news. This not only added to the pressure on the actors, but also fueled further disputes. The role of the media in these conflicts was significant. Reporters covered every argument, disagreement, and feud, creating a constant stream of stories about the cast's personal lives. This intense scrutiny made it difficult for the actors to escape the drama and maintain a sense of privacy. While Soap was known for its humor, the real-life drama among the cast members often took center stage in the headlines. Media coverage amplified these conflicts, sometimes overshadowing the show's success and taking a toll on the actors. In the end, the price of fame and the media's role in amplifying conflicts within the cast of Soap serves as a cautionary tale of the consequences of celebrity in the entertainment industry. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the 1977 TV series, Soap, it's time to ponder the unique connection each of us has forged with this timeless classic. This quirky, groundbreaking show has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of its viewers. Now, take a moment to reflect on your personal journey with Soap. The laughter it brought, the tears it shed, and the characters who became a part of your life. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, Soap has undoubtedly sparked memories, emotions, and conversations that you carry with you. What's your favorite memory from the show? Perhaps it's a hilarious one-liner from the irreverent Burt Campbell, or a dramatic twist in the Tate family saga. Maybe it's the unforgettable characters like Jessica, Chester, or the scene-stealing butler, Benson. Share your thoughts, recollections, and what Soap means to you. Your unique perspective enriches the legacy of Soap and strengthens the bond among its dedicated fans. So, join the conversation and let's celebrate the enduring charm of this television gem together. Thank you for your time and interest in the world of Soap. Your contributions are invaluable. Keep the memories alive and keep the conversations going. Until next time, keep watching, keep sharing, and keep enjoying the timeless humor and drama of Soap.